Hi there. Let's continue our discussion on corporations. This time it'll go much quicker. Our goal isn't as lofty. We want to learn a little bit about stock splits. Ooh, sounds like you could crack it in half, and it about does. So, why would you do a stock split? Stock splits are used to adjust market value, market price of stock. So, if you are currently having your stock, and it's selling on the market for $500 a share, that could be an inhibitor to trading. To trading. People won't buy one at 500 if they can go out and buy five at 100 of something else. Interesting mentality, but that's how the marketplace is used. So you can use a stock split to adjust the market price of stock. And you can adjust it up or down. In our example, we're just going to do the norm, and that's adjust it up. A stock split can be a two-for-one, where you bring in all your stock and issue twice as much. So if I had 500 shares outstanding before, after I do the stock split, I'll call those issue in and issue twice as much. I'll have a thousand. I could do a five-for-one. I have 500 shares outstanding. I'll call them all in and cancel them and issue out five times that many, so I'll have 2,500 issued after that, and so on. So, they can be used in that fashion. Let's e do an example of a four for one. Let's get down some facts. Of our stockholders' equity section, we see we have common stock in the amount of ten thousand dollars, the par value of ten. We take the ten thousand yeah, yeah, yeah. dollars and divide it by ten. That will tell you how many shares you have outstanding. So you have a thousand shares outstanding. Ten thousand divided by ten. And our market value is 150. If you do a four for one split, you'll call in those thousand shares and turn them into 4,000 shares outstanding. Since your um, market value is 150, we would assume that that would, if the market's behaving logically, divide by 4, and 150 divided by 4 is your stock should start trading at $37.50 a share. You would have to make a change to your par value now. It would have to be $10 divided by 4 or 250 a share from this point on to mathematically hold the relationship correct. In summary, you took a thousand shares, did a four for one split, and ended up with four thousand shares. That was your number of shares outstanding. You took your par value, which was ten dollars a share, divided it over four times as many shares, so it's now $2.50 a share, and you took your market value, which was 150 which you must have thought was too high, and divided that by four, and it should be selling for $37.50 a share now. And so that is the effect of a stock split. And what was the effect on the balance sheet? Absolutely nothing. No change in assets. No change in liabilities. And no change in stockholders' equity. The only thing that changed in stockholders' equity is the number of shares that are outstanding and the part value per share. Hear that grinding? Someone's up and making coffee. Ah, 
it's even the sun's coming up now. What do you know? Good morning, and thanks for joining me for a quick discussion on stock splits. Last one was kind of long, this one's kind of short, they even out to kind of decent, yeah? Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.